So today I want to install this Hardline Hour Tack Meter uh, on my new uh, Harbor Freight Predator 2000 generator. And as it says, you can track your service. It installs easy, universal application. And you do get good instructions. So what they want you to do is bring the wire up from the bottom on the side you see it at. Bring it up. Then you've got this other hole here that bottoms out. So you want to stick it in there. Like that. Let it bottom out. Then pull this other wire through. Get the other end through. And that will cause it not to go anywhere. It'll jam it in there. So, so I've taken the side cover off the generator, the same side that has the oil fill. Then I've taken the top cap off so that you can get in there and see the spark plug boot. Then I'll just take and pull that off. Alright, so this is hard to work in here to get your hands in there. So what I did is I wrapped that wire around the spark plug boot, the side like you see here. Then I had it long enough to where I could bring it back. And then I took black electrical tape, wrapped it around there. And then on the end of the black electrical tape, I folded it over on itself. So if I ever have to pull that off, it's a matter of reaching underneath there and I can grab and then undo that. Maybe I can turn it over. Yeah, see how that is right there? That flap? That makes it easier for me to get in there and take that black tape off should I ever have to. So as you can see, it is working. of an hour it recorded it there. So 
what I'm doing right now is a test. There's very little room in here, and I've got an idea of what I'm going to do here. And I've got this wire resting on the valve cover, which gets hot. And I want to see how this reacts. I'm going to let it run for about an hour. And I put the cover on to maintain the heat in here. And I just want to see, so far this thing's working. We're going to take a look at that wire. See how it's held up, up against that hot belt cover. And I've got an idea of what I'm going to do with this. It's not going to get mounted. It's going to get put inside here. And I've got an idea. Okay guys, so this generator just turned one hour. I probably had it running for maybe 10 to 15 minutes at the very most when I first bought it. And then I didn't use it because I wanted to hook up an hour meter. So let's take this cover off. As you can see, it's still working, even though that wire is on the uh, hot valve cover. So let's pull the cover. You can see the wire. I can't touch this. I mean, that's hot. Yeah, that's hot. I cannot touch that. Yep. Very hot. And so this is still working good. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to end up doing here to uh, where I'm going to put this meter. Since there isn't really a good place to put this, what I thought I'd do, I've got this case logic case. And uh, what I'm going to do, it is their number TBC302. TBC302. What I thought I'd do is literally put it in this case, knowing that this wire now doesn't get damaged from all that heat. And it's an experiment. If it does, uh, we'll just buy another one. So what I thought I would do is something this simple. Putting it in the case. Just putting it in here. And um, then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the cover on. We're going to start it up and let it run uh, for about another hour. And... Uh, just see how this thing works inside there so let me put the cover on and then we'll flare it up got the generator started I've got the cover on got a timer we're gonna wait about an hour pull the cover off and then we're gonna see how uh, the uh, TAC uh, RPM thing uh, held up all right guys an hour and one minute let's pull this cover off You can see it's still working. Alright, so some of you may ask, well, why don't you mount it somewhere on the outside? Well, <clears throat> Uh, it, it's really tight a lot of areas in here to get into and if I'm going to take this to a star party and it's out on my trailer and it gets wet I think this will be okay but I'd rather have it inside out of the way because when I check my oil you know how long you're going to be running something so you'll check the meter you're done with it you'll say okay I got another five hours to an oil change whatever but um because I know with the Honda generator, the guys at work, they keep that Honda generator out in the back of their work vehicles. 
and even in pouring rain they've never had a problem with it being out so I don't think I'd have a problem with this um, you know firing it up and using it if it was caught in the rain like I said the Honda generator the uh, everybody says that they just so but anyways the main reason being there's really hardly anywhere to put this thing and I you know to mount it on the side or anything so I opted for this and I think it's gonna be fine as, as this test proved and again if it wouldn't have worked I would have just bought another one and tried something different so that's what we're gonna do